Hi guys! I haven't posted a video in a while and thought that I would celebrate getting 500 subscribers on YouTube by putting together this video that I've been working on for a little while. So today what I want to go through is this new seed sowing technique that my friend Sarah from Willowview Farm has suggested to me a while ago. She sent me a link to a video on Facebook which I found really interesting and it was about starting seeds off in Tupperware trays with kitchen rolls. So I thought I would give it a go myself and see if we can get some good results. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you will know that a couple of weeks ago I put a bit of an honest post on about my unlucky experiences this year with seed sowing and getting everything off to a good start. So basically what happened was I used a seed mix, a seed compost mix that I'd mixed up myself rather than buying in good quality seed compost. And at the time I thought I was doing the right thing, I'd googled it. It turns out that this seed mix was probably toxic to all of my seedlings and the majority of my crops failed. So I was really, really disheartened and obviously I was upset because I've taken on a new growing area this year and I was so excited to fill up that area, fill up my new field and have the best year yet. And then obviously coronavirus came along, all of our weddings got moved along to next year and all of my workshops have been cancelled so far up until about August or September and I still don't know whether I'm going to be able to run workshops this year I'm just playing it by ear and seeing what is going to happen uh, what's what the advice the government is going to give us so um, at the moment I'm willing to try anything new that might give me a little bit more success in the future. I want to try this new technique that Sarah has suggested to me and I've been doing it for a few weeks now and it's going really well so I'll just show you this as an example. That is a full tray of basil and I'm really looking forward to having a go with that. I've not grown that before as a crop. But yeah, this technique basically uses Tupperware boxes, similar to the video that I did before with soil blocks. Um, but obviously with the soil blocks, uh, I was using my seed mix and um, those didn't go that well. So yeah, this is the new technique with kitchen roll and Tupperware box. So I've been trying delphiniums in this video, but I've been trying it obviously with the basil that I just showed you and lots of other things. So I've managed to sort of catch up with the amount of seeds that I wanted to grow this year, but I've still got quite a few empty beds. So what I'm hoping to do is focus on um, biennials. So I'm going to sow lots of foxgloves, hesperis, um, wallflowers and things like that that I can um, fill up my beds with this summer and produce lots of nice flowers for next May and June. So fingers crossed for that and I'm going to be using this method because um, I've got on with it so well. So I'll take you back to a couple of weeks ago um, when I first started off the delphiniums from seed. So this method involves starting seeds off in kitchen roll in these Tupperware trays. What I'm going to do first of all is line these trays with some kitchen roll and this just creates a nice damp atmosphere for the seeds to germinate and then I'm just going to damp it down really slightly. I've got uh, my damp tissue paper and I've got my seed packets here and my plant labels. So I've got these seeds from Plants of Distinction. I've got Delphinium Centurion Lavender and Delphinium Delphina Rose. I'm just gonna put the plant label into the tray that I'm using and I'm literally just gonna sprinkle the seed onto the tissue paper. Okay. 
and I'll just keep an eye on this just to make sure that the kitchen roll stays damp and I'll spray it with a little spray bottle if needs be. So apparently delphiniums like the darkness to germinate so I'm going to sew these and then find a nice um, dark warm place to put them. Fingers crossed! Hi guys, so it's been six days since I started these delphinium seeds off in my Tupperware trays with the moist tissue paper and I've started to get some germination on it now so what I'm going to do is transplant them from this tub into my compost, into my seed compost. So I'm using these tweezers which I've put to my eyebrows with this morning <laughs> And I'm just going to take the seed and can you see, can you see the little root coming out of the bottom there and I'm just going to pick it up, oh dropped it, and just gently push it in to the seed compost there and I've got another one here. I'm going to gently put it in and just one more, I didn't pick it up, and there we go, we've only got three so far so I'm going to keep checking them and as they, as the root comes out of the seed I'm going to keep going and filling up this tray. So it's been a week since I put the um, sprouted delphinium seeds into the trays and I had started to worry about them a little bit because I thought maybe the um, seed capsule wasn't going to come off them very easily just because they haven't sort of pushed themselves through the soil and it hasn't sort of scraped the seed um, off the plant but they seem to be coming out now which is good. S seven days after I've put them into the soil into the compost so yeah exciting so it's now the 16th of may and i'm still taking delphiniums that have sprouted out of the trays so they've been steadily producing roots for the last couple of weeks in this tray i've got about three or four seeds that haven't germinated so i'll give them a little bit longer and see what they do and today i'm just going to pot these up again and um carry on i'm really pleased with this method it's working really well i've not had much success with delphiniums before and i'm looking forward to having a really nice full bed of them next year hopefully this week's video again and I would love to hear if you've tried this method and whether you found it successful. I posted a sort of brief video about it on my Instagram page and I've had a lot of messages from people who've tried it and found it really works for them so uh, let me know in the comments or send me an email if you found this method good or if you've got any tips to add to it as well. So most of my seeds have done quite well using this method but I have had a little bit of a naughty slug hanging around in my greenhouse so not all of my delphiniums have made it through but I'm hoping to start another batch shortly so that we've got delphiniums to plant out this year ready for flowering next year hopefully. <laughs> 